It's time to go! McCarthyism started, that was the Democrats too, Truman. Um, so the idea that people had, some people had that it was going to be different under Obama, well that's just not proving to be the case really in any regard. They are charging with the crime in their eyes of standing Please. in solidarity Thank you. Thank with the people of Palestine and the people of Colombia. Meanwhile, the UN Human Rights Commission has just found that U.S. citizen, 19-year-old Furkat Dogan, was shot in the back of the head by Israeli commandos on the high seas. The Israeli Navy, paid by the United States, has again seized nine U.S. citizens. Jewish activists kidnapped them on the high seas. But the FBI is instead trying to arrest people who oppose USA to the Israeli terror state, who oppose USA to the death squad regime in Colombia. We got to fight. We're used to this. This is nothing new. No one's going to be intimidated by these moves. We're going to still fight the free Momia. We're going to still fight the free our political prisoners fight for a free Palestine. Yeah. We're still right. going to fight to stop the war in Afghanistan. We're still going to fight to stop the war in Iraq. And we're still going to fight to stop the capitalistic war on the people of New York State. Resist the grand jury! Resist the grand jury! Resist the grand jury! Resist the grand jury! There will be no collaboration whatsoever. We are going to put out a statement as a December 12th movement and stand by the fact that this has gone on for too long and we will not be intimidated by this process. That we are going to mobilize and, and activate our community and the, and the vanguard, which is us, have to sit down and work out the strategy and tactics. That's what we propose, that's what we want. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Fred Hampton. Right on. And Joe yeah. Stunt. Just a few of those murdered by the FBI. The FBI is responsible for the death of Dr. Martin Luther King. Let's remember who they are. They are criminals. They say it's good that you're working for economic and social justice. It's good that you're working for human rights. But when you step across that line and start to challenge the very fundamental imperialist capitalist values of this country, we're going to come after you. 32 cities across the country. Now that is a powerful response. And it happened on two days' notice. It's important in Minneapolis, 500 people came out yesterday. The FBI is only as strong as when we are intimidated. We need to remember people like our sister, Lynn Stewart, who stood up, who stands strong, and we don't forget her. It's her birthday in two weeks, October 8th. We're going to be out there in front of that prison. We're going to send her a birthday wish. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united. I'd like to introduce Brother Ralph Pointer. This morning, Lynn Stewart called me, and she says, do you know what's coming down the pike? And she says, do you know our answer? Our answer is the same as it has always been. Let your motto be resistance. Yeah. I will not serve. Lynn Stewart, LS stands for love struggle, yeah. embrace it. Love struggle, see you on the picket line. See you everywhere where people are struggling. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I'm asking every organization, forget your differences, forget your everything. Come united. This is the war and we have to go to win. Only one thing, what they're doing, they're trying to hide their crime last 15, 50 years. They just want the money, they just want their jobs. They're just creating this mess and we have to fight. We want a job for everybody, not for FBI, not for CIA. In my country, motherland, Pakistan, what's the, what's the heck FBI doing over there? I know what's the FBI doing over there. They took the Afia Sadiqi from there. She just got 86 years. A wake up call to all of those of us who are socialists to stand in greater unity amongst our organizations. What were our comrades who were socialists under attack doing? They were fighting to stop evictions. They were union organizing. They were standing up against imperialist war. They were organizing for the rights of students. They were taking up solidarity with every oppressed people around the world. The attack on the Freedom Socialist Organization. Our comrades, one and all, is as if we were all attacked. We in Workers' World Party, at this time of this capitalist crisis, say to each one of you, let us pledge that in our fight to stand up to the capitalist class, that we will have more unity amongst ourselves, each one of our parties, each one of our organizations. We can do this. It is what the movement wants, it's what the workers want, it's what the youth want, and somehow we can find a way to do it. We are to be in greater unity with all the people's struggles. When we see the tremendous effort made to get an African-American Latino-led party on the ballot with all the obstacles, the Freedom Party, we as socialists need to unite and stand up for the right of self-determination, for the right of the black and Latino communities against the vicious racism. This is an online petition. You can sign it here, but everyone who signs it online, it goes to about 60 people, one, one signature online. It goes to the mass media, the corporate media. It goes to Attorney General Holder, to Clinton, it, Secretary of State, to President Obama to congressional offices. The fact that so many of the comrades victimized in Minneapolis and Chicago and Durham, North Carolina and elsewhere are union activists is no accident. When they see labor union activists active around the war and in solidarity with working people in Colombia and Palestine and elsewhere, that scares the hell out of them and it should. My name is Seth Rosenberg. I'm a transit worker, a train operator in Local 100. I'm also a Trotskyist, a member of the League for the Revolutionary Party, a socialist group. Uh, we stand in solidarity as well with the activists who've had their, pl uh, their places of residence and their offices raided. Uh, we recognize that, that capitalism needs to use the brutal fist sometimes, and as others have said, this is only the beginning. The very day! that the FBI kicked down the doors in Chicago and Minneapolis was the fifth anniversary of the murder of Filiberto Rios Ojeda in Puerto Rico, which is also the anniversary of Grito de Lares, the great Puerto Rican uprising for freedom. Somebody once says that first they came to the, uh, for the Jews, labor leaders, the communists, I wasn't one, well first in this country, the scapegoats are basically the immigrant community, they're the first ones. And that now they're attacking the white activists left. The white activists left. The same murderous policies that they've been carrying out against Puerto Ricans, immigrants, against the African American community. So brothers and sisters, I'm just saying that there's a moment where we all have to come together. We have to unite. I think it's time for us to have some type of a citywide assembly.